Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma, and today I'm going to tell you about this beautiful 2017 Infinity QX30 Premium all-wheel drive that we have for sale. We acquired this directly from Infinity Financial Services. It's an off-lease vehicle, one owner clean Carfax. Looks like it's been most of its life on the uh, west coast in California. We do have a complimentary Carfax report for you to view. Uh, and now it's available for sale as a certified pre-owned Infinity. With Infinity's pre-owned certification, you pretty much get all the benefits you normally would as a brand new Infinity, and plus you get some other cool uh, benefits as well. Uh, pre-owned certified pre-owned Infinities, they generally uh, qualify for uh, special or low rate financing for well-qualified buyers. Uh, those programs change on a monthly basis, so you have to infin uh, visit infinityusa.com and go to their certified pre section. It'll tell you the current uh, special rates on certified cars. Um, you have roadside assistance and trip interruption for the duration of the certified warranty. Your first year of basic maintenance is complimentary. You get an Infinity uh, complimentary service loaner vehicle for extended service days. And these benefits are good at any Infinity de dealership in the entire country. Uh, it also has a six-year uh, unlimited mileage warranty that covers about 1,400 components, so you have lots and lots of coverage. Um, the QX30 features a dual-clutch transmission. In fact, this is the only Infiniti you can get with a dual-clutch transmission, partly because this was co-developed with Mercedes. It uses lots of Mercedes-Benz technology from the GLA CLA series which isn't a bad thing because uh, it costs lots of money to develop a vehicle so rather than uh, basing a uh, small crossover like on a you know econ economy vehicle like a small Nissan uh, they were much better off um, you know borrowing a platform from Mercedes uh, which they have great small car technology and it's a little bit more luxury oriented versus something that's like a Nissan dressed up in uh, luxury car clothing so really a great platform to uh, base the QX30 off of. So the dual clutch transmission has seven forward gears you have one gear for the even gears one gear uh, for the odd gears uh, so it can pre-select the next gear for very smooth and seamless gear changes. Um, it acts just like a regular automatic transmission. Um, you don't have to worry about shifting. You can just put it in drive and it takes care of the rest. Of it. But if you do want to shift for yourself, you do have uh, steering wheel paddle shifters, dual zone auto climate control. Um, this one has a wood interior package giving you this nice wood trim on the center stack as well as the doors. And then you get this nice uh, suede cloth material for the uh, headliner and the pillars. Nice uh, Napa leather interior. This one has a navigation package, parking camera, huge roof panel, and then you have a glass roof panel, then you have a sunshade, automatic demi mirror with a universal garage door opener, nice leather up steering wheel with uh, really cool contrast stitching. And this one has 33,860 miles, about right for a vehicle coming off a 39 month lease. Looks great in uh, black on black. So there's uh, two general flavors of the QX30. You have a uh, front wheel drive model that has more car-like design influences. And then you have this one, which is an all wheel drive, which has more crossover SUV design influences. It has a higher ride height, about an inch higher ride height. You have more of a uh, all type of terrain oriented tires. Obviously this is something you're not gonna go rock crawling on or heavy duty off-roading, but it's more than up to, uh, up to snuff to go on some beat up dirt or gravel roads. You have a little bit more of a pronounced chin, lower chin in the front fascia for more of a SUV, SUV crossover look. Uh, Matt, uh, Matt on the uh, wheel trim here, wheel wheel trim versus body colored. And a really beautiful curvaceous body. Uh, they did a beautiful job developing the QX30. Uh, really beautiful body contours. Some of the most dramatic body contours, in fact, that you'll find on a production automobile. And it's not cheap to do that. When you make a curvy uh, body on a car, it costs more money to, to uh, manufacture it. But luxury cars aren't built to a price point like more economical everyday cars. Uh, people want something to look good and beautiful. They want to create an emotional response, and I think they definitely achieved that goal. The QX30 is a beautiful vehicle. 
especially uh, for this class of vehicles, the com sub compact uh, luxury crossover is a very competitive field and I think the QX30 is a great value. In fact, uh, if you actually compare it to uh, dollar for dollar for what you get with the uh, Mercedes uh, version of it, the, you know, what you would consider a direct competitor of the QX30, I think it's the, uh, the GLA is uh, the uh, Mercedes version of the QX30. Uh, I think the interior is a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, luxurious, a little bit more opulent on the QX30. And actually, uh, for prices, uh, price point to price point, if you compare apples to apples, the actually the QX30 is a little bit less expensive than the Mercedes, even though it's very similar. Uh, for the power plant, a uh, very familiar engine we see in a lot of some Mercedes products, and we do see this engine in some other Infiniti products like the Q50, Q60. This is an available engine. It's a two-liter turbocharged engine. Uh, it makes uh, about 280 horsepower and close to 250 pound-feet of torque. Not a heavy vehicle, so with 208 horsepower, you have plenty of performance and acceleration, and it also is very fuel efficient as well. Thank you so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully we see you in our store soon, and have a wonderful day.